Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. So today's video is the 10th in the series of digital still life watercolor painting. I am using the iPad Pro. You can be using any kinds of iPad as long as you can run Taya Sweet Sketches Pro app on the iPad. So if you don't have that Taya Sweet Sketches Pro app, I recommend you getting it because you need that to follow what I'm doing. Today's video is going to be a very challenging video. It's not that difficult but it's a little bit challenging because you have a lot more details. We're going to be drawing the pineapple, alright? The whole pineapple. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's start Taya Swiss Sketches Pro. Keep calm and draw. Alright, let's do this. We're going to use the watercolor brush. Second brush, press and hold. Set the size, set the opacity to the fullest. Size is about 50 or 60. I don't know the, what size to begin with. This seems to be the right one. It's an arbitrary size. You can use any size that you want. Let's paint the pineapple. We're gonna choose the base color. The first base color has to be the light color. Pineapple generally is orangey. So I'm gonna use this particular yellow or orange, all right? And let's start. We're going to start by you drawing this oval shape over here. Okay. Not too big because we have some... Uh, we need to have some space for the leaves. Okay. Now I have some... Uh, draw the oval shape like this. Alright. We're done. And let it dry. Next, we're going to have... Um, the details okay have another layer again the same brush this time around a darker hue of orange okay this one and just begin by just dab like that one here one there just to give it some uh, character some details okay just like that and let it dry all right so now we're gonna have another color, a darker one. This time we're gonna add some um, lines, okay? So we're gonna have some um, brown. I think it's best to have on another layer. And this time, uh, again, the same brush. Set the size to about a bit smaller. Let's zoom in. Now here comes the a little bit challenging, okay? We are going to draw some hexagons. Hexagons like two, four, six, six sides. All right. So let's begin. Just, just follow me like that. Let's, let's try. One, three, one, two. Mm -hmm. Okay, like that, like that, and like that. Down here, like that, like that. All right, and down here, like that. That, down there. Remember, just keep it uh, flowy. You don't have to be really exact. All right. Just relax. Just go with the flow. That's it. Okay. Now that you have the general shape, which is like that, we can let it dry. And that's it. Okay. But now. Let's add some details. We're gonna have some a darker brown. So press and hold to change the color. Drag this down somewhat like that and add. This will be our new dark brown color. We're gonna change the size a bit smaller, about 30. And let's follow through, okay? And just like that. Okay, add some fine details here. Just follow, follow this line that you've just drawn. Sorry guys, the camera just just stopped. I hope you can follow through. Again, where did I leave? I think I left off where the water brush is. Just, just you know, spread the color around once you're done and just let it dry, all right? So this time, let's have another layer. Always have another layer so that you can, um, you know, it's not destructive. You can, you can delete if, if it's necessary. All right, this is done. Now we're gonna have some uh, shadows, okay? So the light source will be coming from the top and going downwards. So the shadow will be around here. 
Now each part of this hexagon it's a solid thing okay so we're gonna see some shadows being projected so let's have uh, that new layer we have a new layer all right that is done and set the water brush sorry watercolor brush the second brush and set the opacity to about 66 and now set the brush size to about 50 or 47 just color it or maybe make it bigger just color it here oh sorry smaller down here just down here down there like that make it smaller like that over here especially over here and like that over here here and here and here all right now we're gonna use the water brush again the water brush is to spread the color out all right looking good i hope it's not too challenging so a lot of work here but i think it's worth it once it's done okay and just let it dry we're done so far so good so far so good now we are gonna add um, a bit of um, the light okay so it's gonna be, look um, lighter not much of a reflection but um, a lighter color again switch the brush side the brush to this one set the opacity to about 90 yes have a new layer all right have a new layer for this and we're going to change the color to white all right so let's begin because the light is going to be striking down here so this particular portion here let's start over here it's going to be light in color all right like that uh, just a little bit okay over here and here here just a little here here that's it and use the water brush just pull it out just flick it like that and yes we are done all right i hope you're happy with this one but we are not done yet not yet have another layer we're gonna draw the leaves change the brush to the watercolor brush set the opacity to the highest we're going to change the color of the paint to let's see um, i like this color this dark green color and let's begin set the size to about 40. gonna have some stroke like that okay. press and release press and release okay press and just like touch press okay use the pressure okay press and let go press let go press let go press and let go press and let go okay just like that and this is done okay now oops sorry change the color we're gonna have some a bit of bluish color like that to set the opacity to about 80 or 7 or oops sorry that's too much and just a little bit of blue okay and let it dry now i want a light green for the edges okay i'm gonna zoom in just like that not too much okay and press like that, like that. okay okay that okay have some style to your painting let it curve like that okay and let it dry okay now we're gonna have a very dark green color not this is not too dark we're gonna have it darker click add and let's begin opacity to the highest and start from the middle like that all right okay like that 
or the crevices. Imagine where the light comes in and where the shadows will be projected. Okay, usually it's below. And like that. You don't have to you don't have to press, just just like it like that. So that the paint stroke will be very thin like that. And now use the water brush, let's just drag the colour out like that. And dry. Okay, now uh, you see these leaves, right? It's covering the fruit below. So we need some shadow here. Have another layer. Tap this layer. Bring it down below the leaves. Okay, will be, this will be the shadow. Choose the dark brown color. Set the watercolor brush. Change the opacity to about 80. And now let's paint. I'm gonna press, okay? Press it down, like that, like that. And use a water brush. Oh, did I just dry it? No, so I will undo. I'm gonna try again. This color. Okay, something's not right. Okay, so let's do that. Use the water brush to spread the color out. Just like that. Okay, I don't know what happened there. But this is how it is. And uh, we are almost done, almost done. Okay, now for pineapples, there are some, you know, some projections over here. It's not, it's not flat. There will be some leaves or something sticking out. So we need to have that and most likely the color is green, right? So let's choose this dark green, change the watercolor brush to this, set the opacity to the highest, set the size to about 30, and just like that. Okay, usually it'll be here. Maybe it's too much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Projections over here. Okay, the green stuff. Prickly. Make it look like as if it's prickly. There you go. Pineapples are not smooth on the outside, it's prickly. Okay? So and this time use the water brush and just just flick. Like that. Very nice. And let it dry. We are done. We are done. Have another layer. Use the Indian ink brush to add some splash to your color. We're going to use the orange color. Set the opacity to about 50 or 60. Set the brush size to here. And just lightly tap. Like that. Another one. Yeah, it looks good. Now I'm going to change it to green and let's have another splash here. And maybe here. Ooh, too much. Undo. And maybe here. Okay. Boom. Okay, make it look messy. Alright, imperfect. Have another layer. Let's title it. Oh, be before we do that, we need the shadow on the ground. Alright, we're not done yet actually. Use the watercolor brush, set the opacity to about 60, size to about 50, set to the dark brown color, and begin painting here. And use the water brush to, oop, let's make it bigger, let it drag, like that. Let it dry, paint again, make it darker over here. And use the water brush to spread the color out again. Like that. Let it dry. And finally, now we can title. Have another layer. Use the Indian ink brush. Set the opacity to the highest. Set the size to about, I don't know, 10. And 
Let's begin. Let's write pine apple. All right, we're done. So I hope you like that video and I hope it is easy. If you find it challenging, rerun that video and follow through again. So anyway, you don't have to be perfect. This is nothing to do with being perfect. Watercolor is passionately imperfect. With that said, um, I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and do consider to subscribe because you will get notifications whenever, you, whenever I put up new videos on my channel on YouTube. So until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye!